Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Leslie and today is day six of home renovations. I left off the other day on this wall. I had gone in with my old DAP, uh, which was this one, I believe. Yes. And tried to use it, but it was dried up because there's a crack in the... Whatever. So, I went out and I got some new... Not even sure how to... Okay, this is pink, which means it's wet. Very good. All right, and then I'm just, look, I'm not a professional. I'm not going to be done professionally. So sorry you can't see what I'm doing. Mm. Mm. Anyway, I'll bring you over here in a second. I just... I'm going to get this started. Kind of, kind of what I was looking for. Then I just messed it up. Okay, gonna try that again. Okay, much better. Duke, stop. Dirt in it. That's nice. Okay. Basically, I'm doing that down here. Just trying to cover. Um, I didn't know what this brown stuff was that was on the wall. I was like, why did they put wood filler on the wall? And my niece said, that is not wood filler. That is the glue. I did, I did not know that. I, I just did not know that. I didn't know that they just glued the, the baseboards down. Whoever heard of such nonsense? We had these mass buildings. That's, I guess, how it's done. Just trying to kind of squeeze it. Oh, buddy, huh? All right, I'm gonna let it dry what I've done so far. 
because I can't seem to get it to not pull off pieces of the wall as I'm trying to add to it. That's what I got so far. Hold on. I've got stuff all over my hands. All right, that's what we got so far. Okay, I'm going to let that dry, sand it down a little bit, and then I'm going to come in and goopy up that part. Okay? All right, everyone. So this is where I am so far. I just threw a layer of kills on the main floor and around the corners where the dog would like to pee-pee. I have patched up that ugly part down there. I'm waiting for it to dry so I can sand it and paint that wall. Um, they're probably, you know, going to take it back off. <laughs> do whatever they have to do, and it's fine. It's just I could not look at this awfulness anymore. It just I felt like I was living in a 7,000-year-old house falling apart or something. So, anyway... I kills the floor, so there should be no anything coming through. Uh, we'll see. And I'm letting this dry overnight because I'm too impatient. I keep staring at it, and it's still got pink spots. It's got to go. That, I don't care if it, it dries up overnight because I'm just going to throw all of that out, except for the handle. Um, I found that roller in the attic from the people before me and so I said well here I'll just use this I do want to wash my good brush though so I am going to do that but tomorrow come we're gonna um it's going to be just a few seconds for you but for me I've got to go get to bed uh but we're gonna have a little bit of painting hopefully and <laughs> materials are getting delivered Woo! So I'll see you in a second. All right, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of a closer look. It is, um, it could probably have another um, round on it. But I am going to just use, I've gotten it all pretty much level. And I'm going to be getting new baseboards. So I'm just going to kill this area and um, get this wall painted. Are you ready? Let's go. Well, just not as exciting as I thought it was going to be. This is nothing more than like 420 pieces of pine baseboard that I need to polyurethane and paint. And um, in here are my shoe molding quarter rounds. So I have them covered so the dog won't, you know, pee pee on them. I'm gonna save this for a drop cloth when I have to paint all this crap. But I have a bunch of it. <laughs> Over here, okay, this is the back side. Oh, no, that's just a darker piece. I guess it doesn't matter if you're going to be painting them. And the shoe molding looks like this. Right? So it's just that fresh oak, but it's freaking MDF. So, it's, <clears throat> I want to go through and put some polyurethane on this side and on this side. I don't know. You get the quarter round for free, so of course it's going to be MDF. And then this is the transition piece that's going to go at the top of the stairs where I'm going to have... <clears throat> my carpet and it's got a bend in it it's, mm, mm, okay so yeah that just goes at the top of the steps <clears throat> so that's all I had delivered today I thought I was getting all my flooring delivered but nope 
I guess that'll come on the truck. That's why they say they're not transporting really soiled carpets and things because that's what they bring it in the day of. So the night before, the contractor will come out and count all the pieces, make sure everything's here. And I've got all of the little... I've got all of the little things there for him to look at and say, okay, we have 10 boxes of that, whatever. So yeah, nothing too exciting. <laughs> so I'm going to get back to my painting. I'm going to drop that barn off at the Goodwill. Um, take some of that extra palleting to the dump. I gave my air conditioning guy, because he came out at the same time, I gave him one and I kept one because I was like, that's a good piece of wood, man. You could do something with that. And he's like, yeah, I'll take one. <laughs> you know that you are a nerd when you think, of, I, look, that's good wood. Okay. Two by four with a little track in it. Come on now. You can do all kinds of things with that. So, all right, I'm going to, do you want to go for a ride? <gasps> you want to go for a ride? Okay, let's go, boo -boo. Much better. No black marks, no big nicks. I need to paint that. We'll get to that. And, of course, that bottom is going to be bumpy and not look perfect, but it should be covered Whatever is not covered, I will come back and fix after installation. I just wanted to get rid of that ugliness. So I'm going to move around to this part. And then do this little wall. I can do all of this with the brush. Oops, sorry. And then um, I'm going to go get a roller. Because I don't want to do this whole haul with a brush. I can do little areas, but we're not doing the whole areas. Okay, great. Thanks. Mm. All right, so I've completed this wall with paint. I've put two coats of paint on this wall. I've put two coats on this one. It's still drying. And, um, sorry, one coat on this one. And then I cut in around here, and I did cut around here, and I started up this wall, and I said, you know what, I'm going to get a roller, because <laughs> I'm having to go over it twice with a brush, and when you use a roller, it's like two coats in one. This looks like part of it's drying, and that's when I'll be able to tell where I need to hit it again. This one also is drying. So I'm just going to go get a roller and finish up this wall, this wall, this, this, and then this wall, that wall goes all the way down to the downstairs, I've patched holes. I, 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 I. I don't know that I'm big enough to do that. I don't think I should. <laughs> hmm. 
All right, so I have gone to the store to acquire the things that I need. I've gotten some things I don't need. <laughs> um, there's a little bit of a shadow on there, so I don't think you can see what it really looks like. I'm going to go over these with a roller anyway, just to be sure that they are good. But I'm very pleased with how they're looking. They look much better. Here's my haul. Haul time. Haul time. Okay, so I went and I got some lunch. I got a foot-long Subway Club with some Doritos and two chocolate chip cookies because I'm working hard and I deserve it. <laughs> and a soda. I got this. It is a, this is from Walmart. Uh, it is a light-up wax warmer. And it's rather expensive at like $16.88 or something, but... I do my dining room in the ghosts and I want to get away from candles and start doing wax warmers and plug-ins. So, do I need seasonal one? No. Uh, whatever. I got it, okay? We're not going to say anything. He's so cute. Anyway, <laughs> spent 50 bucks. $51.97 at Walmart. This. I got uh, a two-pack of rollers for $9.97. I got another two-inch brush because, and it says best. Remember how I told you, don't go for the junk. Get the best. So, I got this two-inch flat brush. Oh, flat. I meant to get angled. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I got a backup brush. Because I'm loving the brush I have now. Um, I got this. It is Warm Cashmere Spice. And I love it. Um, in the winter, I want more of that spicy, cozy, fireside type of scent. So I'm going to have that in my two wax warmers. I have one near the front door, then I'm going to have my ghost in my dining room, and then I'm going to have two plug-ins, one up here in this area, and one downstairs somewhere in the living room, I suppose. And the scent that I chose for that was Soft Cashmere and Amber, because I just want a light fragrance to be going throughout. This um cotton one or whatever it was that I've got man that thing is strong so I wanted to just get a light scent so we'll try that and then I got a pack of three tray liners I think they were like 10 bucks let's see the tray liners were $2.68. The roller covers were $9.97. The brush was $9.94. The oil refills were $3.87 a piece. The warmer was $16.48. And the wax melts were $2.22 for a total of $51.97 with tax. So now I'm going to have my lunch do some work because apparently my professor that I do the most work for didn't realize I was working from home. He thought I was just off today. I'm not off. I've been sitting here waiting, so I decided to have lunch. But I'm going to go have lunch, do some work for him, and um, then after my work day, I'll come back and we'll finish painting this hall. But I'm quite pleased with how it's looking so far. What do you think, boobots? You did the boobobia. Da da watch. All right, I'm in different paint clothes. I've done uh, the pony wall and that side. And then I went to the store to get a roller to finish that side. Came home, went to shake the paint. Oops, top wasn't on right. It went all over me. Got into the shower with my clothes on and everything. What? I keep looking over there. Sorry. You're over here. I, I'm, I'll get used to this new camera at some point. 
into it, spilled a little paint, got in the shower, got it off, cleaned off all my tools, took a break, did some work, um, ate some lunch, and now I can't stay away from the painting. I'm back at it. But it was such a bizarre sight, I thought, I need to get this on camera. Y'all just need to see what I'm doing. It's the most ridiculous nonsense. Got a ladder. Got a ladder right there. Okay? That's not what we're doing. Let's see what we're doing. Okay? By the way, if you ever wondered if you could use a puddle of paint to roll and paint your wall, you can, because I did, because I wasn't letting it all go to waste, and then what was left, I just kind of rolled out, and we're letting it dry. But yeah, I've, I'm working on this wall now, and somehow I ended up over here on this side, and now we've cleaned the tops of the doors, so I guess we're going to cut in around the doors, and... It is nonsense. Let me just show you what I'm doing. All right, I'm going to get cut off because I can't get this part in here. But I have my ladder there, a stool here, and a stool here. I could bring the ladder over here and get inconvenient, okay? Inconvenient when you are in the middle of OCD moments and you have to get to that upper part of that wall there. Cut in. You do this. And then you do this, and you just, you know, get up here and paint. Isn't that fantastic? That's fantastic. Dog's loosening his mind, but then we have to get back down and get the paint. Uh, what are we doing? Anybody know? All right, so it is about uh, 7 o'clock, and I have worked today. I have completed my painting today. I painted this wall, that wall, the side wall, that wall, the one in the door, this wall. And I just think, oh, it looks fantastic. It just looks so much better than that horrible pink that they put in this house. So it's called Accessible Beige, and it's just a beautiful, neutral, tan color, and goes very well with that black and white. No idea why it won't focus, but anyway, there's the wall with no nicks, cracks, creases. Down there is not perfect, but I wasn't trying to get it perfect. I just wanted it to look better because <laughs> it was driving me insane. So I put a couple of coats of uh, plaster on there, you know, feathered it out, sanded it, painted it, kills it, <laughs> all of that. Did somewhat the same there just to make it look better. And over here, we just have a nice wall with none of those nicks and bumps and black marks and things. So I'm really excited that I finally got that done. I've been wanting to paint this hall for years. And I said, well, I'm going to do it one day knowing how much work it was going to be. No wing, but I wanted to paint it. And my niece is very upset because she says I need to be packing, not painting, but I wanted to paint it before they put down the flooring. This part is still drying over here. Um, because I don't want to, I'm, we're not dripping on the new floors now, even though I don't really drip. I just, Spill. <laughs> okay, we're not looking at that. So yeah, that's the exact reason why I wanted to do this before they put the new floors down because Bull in a China Shop sometimes gets a little excited and goes to shake some paint and I ain't got no, not a top on. Not a top to be on. So we did down in there. 
It's still drying a bit. I don't even know if I finished. I guess it's drying. I don't know. So yeah, I look, I keep going over them, but I just can't tell you how much I love this color. See how it looks kind of tan and brown over here? But over there, it looks kind of green. Ah, fabulous. All right, so that's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. It's a little bit long, but maybe you enjoy longer videos. Um, if you did enjoy this video, if you learned anything, or if you saw something I could have done better that I need to learn, please educate me because I'm just kind of going off the bits and pieces that I've seen on this old house back in 1972. <laughs> Kidding. Um, and, but I am using knowledge that I've learned from, you know, friends, family members, people like that, watching things on TV, Googling, YouTubing, whatever I need to do, because I'm going to get it done, because it's only me. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. There's my thumb. Give it a big thumbs up, and hit subscribe, because we got a lot more to come. Bye.